Hey guys, welcome to Testing Academy. My name is Pramod and welcome to the 30 days of automation testing. In this video, we are going to talk about the how to set up your Selenium grade infrastructure using Selenium, right? If you are new to Selenium, we are going to discuss about what is it, uh, how, why we need Selenium grade and what are the major features and I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step demo, especially with Mac uh, where we are running our automation test cases that we have created earlier in the video, right? So I'm excited to show all the things. So let's get started, right? Right. So uh, before starting out, guys, what is Selenium? What is Selenium in that case, right? So Selenium is basically an open source project which can definitely help you to set up your Selenium grid infrastructure, right? And one of the advantage of Selenium is that it can basically scale up dynamically, right? For example, if you have requirement of uh, six Chrome browsers, six Firefox, right? It can, if the machine has a capability, right? You can pass the uh, arguments that I want six container, I want more six Firefox, it can dynamically uh, create or scale up your Selenium grid, right? So if you are at a advanced automation tester, this is the thing that you need to learn, right? And this is one of the core concept, how to handle the scale up of scaling part of your Selenium grid, right? So trust me, it's an important and we are going to see the demo of it. So, right. Uh, what is uh, Selenium? It's a it's a Docker based it's Docker Selenium based solution to boot up the grid within seconds, right? So again, uh, Selenium guys have done very important part where uh, they are providing a dashboard support. They are providing live view support, so you can live see how your uh, test cases are running, right? And it's basically leveraging the Docker and Kubernetes in that case. So definitely can help you in that case. So uh, let's start. Why do we need Selenium grid before that, right? Selenium grid we need because uh, we want to scale up our infrastructure. Suppose I have 5,000 test cases that I want to run. These 5,000 cases, I want to run 4,000 test cases on Chrome and 1,000 cases on Firefox, right? So how do I do that, right? Means what you can do is that you can take some AWS machine or if you can set up your local environment, right? Install Docker in it uh, where you will install the Selenium grid and uh, that grid, you, what you can do is that you can run your test cases in it. But the problem with Selenium grid is that uh, you cannot auto scale, right? So here comes the Selenium where you can auto scale depending upon the requirement. If you have requirement of more than 10 uh, Chrome browsers that you want to run parallelly, right? You can use that using this Selenium in that kit. So how you cannot do that? Uh, let's see. Before that, let's see what are the major features of Selenium, right? Uh, it has out of the box support for Docker and Kubernetes. Trust me, it's bottom one. It provides a dashboard. Uh, it provides a dashboard where you can look your test cases. You can record the videos. You can see logs, Selenium logs. Uh, it supports Firefox, Chrome. So no need to worry about the uh, video recording, live previews, right? So important points. Uh, means awesome features, right? Uh, how do I set up? It's very a simple one. Uh, if you have installed Docker on your Mac, uh, I will. Uh, so let's uh, let's see how you can do that. You can just uh, go to, uh, go to do Docker download right uh, here you will have instruction for windows and if you want to download for mac there is also an instruction to download it right so second one which is the second one basically you can download you can directly click here it will be a simple click 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 dmg file and after that you will see this docker is running i'll recommend you to create an account with docker.com uh, you can click on sign in and there will be a sign up form also just create a free account and you can sign it sign uh, in the docker uh, right so uh, what are the commands we need to do? Uh, how do how do I set up the Selenium? Selenium, uh, you need to pull the Selenium containers first, and you can use uh, this command to uh, fetch the Selenium in that case. Now after that you need to run this uh, command, which basically start. Uh, let me explain you what uh, we are doing. Uh, we are running the Docker command. It's a simple Docker command which basically uh, runs. Uh, now we are naming it as a Selenium. We are running the port 444444 basically to mapping the Selenium grid, right? Uh, we are basically mapping the volumes of Docker and we are creating a temporary videos and this is uh, this is basically a temporary videos in our local one and this is the uh, temporary videos in the container, right? We are privileged, we are, we are providing privileges this is the container that we want to run. We are starting it and there are like couple of more options like desired containers. I want one container as of now. If you can, if you have capacity in Mac or if you are running on an AWS server, you can go to 10, 12, right? 
uh, now very simple is that uh, in the previous video what we have done is that uh, if you uh, if you know this thing right this was the assignment that we have done we have run our test cases related to the domain search right name type domain search if you haven't watched it i will recommend you to watch it so what i have done is that uh, before that what was it right so let me delete it so this was the code before that what we are doing is that we are using a normal chrome driver to run it on this simple mac machine but now what we have is that we want to run it on a containers docker containers so uh, what i am doing here is that we are creating a url basically this docker container as of now are running on my mac mac machine right so it will be localhost 444 i'm creating an instance of desired capabilities i am passing firefox and here are the couple of options that you can pass you can name your build you can name uh, basically name create a name of it your test case your name of the build your time zone your screen sort resolution your ideal time out your recording if you want recording true or not right and after that you need to create a remote web driver we need to pass the url that you have uh, your grid url and the capability right that's all that's a small change that you need to do so let's run one by one uh, all the things make sure your docker is running right if you click docker just it will start and there will be a mention of a docker uh, docker desktop is running right uh, what you need to do is that uh, you need to run the couple of commands so because i have already run this command so you just need to go to that here and it will say that it's automatic uh, it's it is already downloaded so it will quickly do it right so it is done and let's run the second command right uh, i have already downloaded it so it will take very less time but for you it can take a little time it will download a 400 mb or something like images right uh now now let's run this command which basically start the first container if you can do two container three container four right i just want to create one only one container as of now because our test case can run on one container so it will start it right and if you see on localhost localhost 4444 right uh, you will see that selenium grave has started right and if you want to see the dashboard you can do 44 slash dashboard right so this is the dashboard this is, these are the two test cases that i have already run previously right and if you want to see live dashboard right how your test cases are doing you can go to admin slash live it's admin slash live right uh yeah, let me see what is the url of it in the selenium one they have given it uh what is the url Live dashboard, yeah, grid grid slash admin. Okay, let's click on. Yeah, this is one. So uh, it is saying that we have running, we are running a one container uh, which contains one Chrome and one Firefox. The con Chrome is eighty three, Firefox is seventy six. Makes sense. So let's run our test case. Uh, right click. Uh, this is assignment one, right? Yeah. Right. So it will start running this test case. Our container is already running. so here you will start seeing the test case running so if you click this plus button you can basically zoom this and uh, let's see if it has our test cases are running or not yes it's going to start in a bit yeah so it's already running now uh, okay you can click this plus icon right so it is running in the container right it is an amazing uh, and it's running out our test cases these are like couple of five cases which will run it will start running it will basically search for a particular domain and verify if it is available or not so right uh, it's done i guess uh, and uh, if you open the if you let, let's open the dashboard right and yes so our test cases are done and this is this is the video that we are seeing right so this video has been created live preview is available actually dashboard is available, right so this is how you can use selenium right so there was a quick video about it how you can basically run your test cases on selenium right if you have already test cases you just need to uh, 
make small changes related to it you, what you need to do is that you need to install docker you need to uh, pull up the images right you need to run the containers with a desired option desired container option just uh, create the capabilities add the capabilities and just enter the url of your thread right if you want to see more cap uh, more let me do selenium right if you want to see more options there are like more options given here right so desired desired container that we have discussed right you can have maximum containers you can have source lab so it it basically provide you sub support for cloud providers cbt cloud providers like source lab browser stack lambda test right that you can do you can start your tunnel you can video record you can have mentioned this screen weight high time zone debug mode selenium image name and couple of more options right so that was about it uh, how you can run your uh, basically selenium grid uh, on selenium selenium thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye